Welcome to the Ask an Aggie podcast, where we're exploring the ins and outs of college life here in College Station. We want you to have the best college experience you can, so listen in as we dive into relevant topics that will help you navigate this new and exciting stage of life. Welcome back to the Ask an Aggie podcast. <laughs> it just didn't go right, doesn't it? Just, yeah, you just took it from me. I know, so this is Jordan, it. and I am excited to be here. We've also got, as usual, Asher Artizoni with us. I'm here, and we brought back our friend Andro, the birthday boy, who is now 21 years old. A, a, whoop! a, a I don't know which one I'm supposed a, to do. Uh, a woo. I can think I just whoop. I just whoop only. Is that allowed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight whoop. Yeah, what do they yeah. call you guys? Like roll tide. tide. Crimson Tiders. Just roll tide. Uh, like, yeah. Elephant. As a student, you were roll tide. Yep. We were. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, off on that tangent. Yeah. So today we're talking about first generation students. Yeah. Um, and so not just first generation at A&M, but first generation going to college. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Hunter, just tell us a little bit about your story with this. So, uh, yeah, I obviously I'm a first generation college student because that's why I'm on this time. <laughs> but um, so both my parents are, yeah, <laughs> are from uh, Mexico. They, okay. My dad came when he was like 14 or 16. And then my, I think my mom came when she was 20 or 30. Okay. Um, and so they're both they're both from Mexico. Um, they came here obviously like seeking a better future, um, and so they don't really have much education. Okay. Um, I I don't think my dad even started high school. Oh wow. Um, and I don't. My mom had some bits of high school. Gotcha. Um, but not much. Um, oh really? Okay. Uh-huh. And then I I I think in in Mexico it's like called like secondary school yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, um, so and even still like their yeah. education was not yeah it wasn't because they're from like a small town gotcha and then, yeah like, the education okay. system there wasn't the best and they're from like one of the poorest yeah states in mexico really um, mm-hmm. and so they came they came here they had three beautiful sons <laughs> <laughs> two beautiful sons two, two beautiful yeah. sons in Andro. <laughs> yeah two beautiful sons and then me um, <laughs> but um he's single ladies <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what to I'm do just right now. Break now, Andre's losing it. <laughs> He's too uncomfortable. Right. So if you're just listening to this one, make sure to get on YouTube, find us, He's and so get a right peek now. at Andre. What is that? Uh, what is your social tag? Go ahead. Uh, if you want to follow at, us on Instagram, at Bad Boy Andre. Yeah. yeah that's... <laughs> <laughs> so what is it, Andre? So my Instagram is at j a. Wait, just Andre. But <laughs> it's just easier because like I'm probably just like sick or something, right? but um at Hondro, so Is that it? Yeah, and but there's a period between the R and the O. Oh okay. So, so you so probably should like J A N D R dot dot O. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So if you're like, ready to check out Jan Hondro, point O. Jan, 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 Jan. All right, we gotta get back into this. So <laughs> anyway, your parents come to um, United States, go straight yes. to the DFW area. Um, so I think my dad spent some time just around Texas. Okay, okay. and then he had a cousin um, that lived in I think it was either Burleson or Fort Worth. Okay, um, and so they, he just ended up. There. So he just kind of found their way to yeah, the DFW area. So, um, and both have worked in that area. Mm-hmm. Um, could you raising three boys? Yeah, raising three um, boys. And so you are the middle child. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when we talk about this first gen student, um, tell us about your older brother. So he grows up in the same household mm-hmm. you do. He graduates high school, and what does he go to do? So he decides to go to trade school. Okay. Um, and so the process there was a little different from kind of my process in, in coming into college uh-huh. um, and I mean trade school is like amazing like if, if you don't want to it's do it's a great it, option yeah it's a yeah. great option to do um, and he's out and working now yeah so he's out and working he, he's a mechanic fixing okay stuff yeah right now. so um, you were even the first sibling to go to college yeah so I, I was the first sibling to so go to you work. said his process was a little different let me just ask you uh, for a lot of people, um, it's kind of assumed, like, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to college. You know, yeah. My parents went to college, therefore I'm going to. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a first-generation student, 
um, let me ask, like, did you assume you were going to go to college or was that like an active decision that you like, had when made? did you know that college was where you're going to go? So I think I, I got very serious about it. Um, cause I, I think in the back of my mind, I always knew I was going to college Okay. cause I, that was the expectation. Just um, in the, the school system that you were brought yeah. up in probably. Uh -huh. So the expectation for like my parents as well. So okay. they, I mean, that's really, like, that's one of the reasons like they came, they came because they wanted to like, gotcha. I and mean, have their like, interesting. Okay. Um, having their children succeed. In yeah, life. Sure. And so it was always an expectation to get like a secondary education yeah um and for me it, so in high school i don't i don't think i was a, i was i would call myself a mediocre student okay. in high school yeah. um like freshman year i wasn't like my grades were like all c's yeah and then sophomore year like kind of the same and then it wasn't until junior year i was like oh crap i should get my stuff together oh, you're <laughs> trying to yeah serious it's trying to get serious yeah. um and so i think that was when I was like, okay, like I'm, I want to go to college. Like, yeah. As much as I thought I hated school, I I actually love school. <laughs> like, sure. I yeah. love being in college. I love, I I liked high school, um, not as much as college, but I enjoy yeah. like being in school. Yeah. Because you love what you're doing now. Yeah. You're in so, city yeah. planning, um, mm -hmm. and you get really excited about yeah. the opportunities that mm -hmm. will be in your future. Yeah. Um, and another point that I don't think we've brought up with, um. Andro, and you forget oftentimes because yeah. you were friends. You've been friends with him for what two years now. Hondro's yeah. um, home life. You speak predominantly, if not completely, Spanish. Yeah. So predominantly, actually, um, my parents they they do speak English, um, but it's kind of like on the on, I guess on the lower end of it. Um, and so yeah, we we only speak Spanish at home, except yeah. for like me and my brothers, like. Okay. And so to my parents, like, I, I speak Spanish to them. Mm. Um, and so there's a lot of changing yeah. of, I mean, you are different, not a different person, but having to act or speak and mm. to be somewhat different in a lot of different environments. Yeah. Um, and so the challenges you faced, while well, you just kind of go, this is just it, you yeah. know, this is what I do, mm. um, to, to even go to a school where English is the way you're taught, but mm -hmm. Spanish is the way you've learned growing mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of challenges facing you. Um, yeah. And so, you know, it's just incredible just to commend you on that, just you. that you are succeeding at the way that you are mm -hmm. as you are here. Uh, you know, we've we had you on the blend episode as well and how you're transitioning that navigating um, one, even going to college when you've never had experience mm -hmm. with that or your family. Mm -hmm. uh, two, transferring and making sure you're not wasting credits. You're putting your way through school. You're working, you know, as hard as you can at HEB for the last, how many years have you worked there? Oh, gee, it's it's actually five months. Wow. So since high school. Yeah. Yeah, since I was 16. So yeah. Wow. So five, five years. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Five months. Um, five, five years. He is still 16. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, five ladies. Yeah. 16. So, <laughs> sorry, ladies. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it's just incredible, but we forget sometimes. Yeah, for sure. How many natural resources that I had when I went to school mm -hmm. that sometimes a lot of the first gen students don't. Yeah. Yeah. So, were there any resources that, you know, schools offered that you could use as a first gen student? Um, yeah, sorry. Actually, I, I kind of want to go back to the other yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so, kind of going back to challenges that I had to face, I had to learn like a lot by myself. <laughs> sure. Um, so, like, I had to learn how to like, you know, send your transcripts, send your like meningitis shot. Like, oh, I didn't even know yeah, how to use yeah. a fax machine. Wow. I had to learn how to like um, use like a computer like properly. Um, really. I had to use like I had to figure out like how to like contact an advisor at a university. I had to like learn how to register. So there, there's just a lot of barriers that come with um, being a first generation. Yeah, having students. parents and having yeah, colleagues. So, uh -huh. And so like something something crazy in high school was like my, obviously like my parents cared about my grades, but they never like saw them. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, and so something that kind of, I guess hindered me was I, I had to keep myself accountable when it came mm. to my came wow. to my grades. Mm. Um, 
because like my my parents didn't know how to use like what we used to like check grades was Skyward. Okay. So they didn't ever like they couldn't like log onto like they they didn't know how to use like a computer. Yeah. Um. So wow. they could never like log onto like Skyward and check mm -hmm. my grades and so. Um, so you have the completely opposite of the helicopter parent that some yeah, of these people oh, watching yeah. that are going. Oh, yeah. My parents know the second I make an ADA or yeah. if I don't turn in a homework assignment, they're getting a notification yeah. on their smartphone yeah. like that. Yeah. You're going, I didn't have anybody mm -hmm. pushing me. Yeah. I mean, they did push me, but like not in the sense of like, well, I'm seeing every single grade. You yeah. Know. Wow. That is really interesting. And so it, it's just crazy to think about because to me, it was just normal. Like, sure. Yeah. It was normal to like, oh yeah, like I have to make sure like this is okay. Yeah. And I have to make sure like this, I get this grade on this. Mm -hmm. um, Mm. And so, like, I would show my parents, um, and so, like, what was kind of hard was that they didn't understand, like, the struggle that, like, high school mm. and in college, um, because, I mean, they, they never, like... They never went through it. Yeah, they never you know, Like, they understand hard work, but they don't they, understand yeah. the actual system mm. that you're being put through. And so, it was, that was, like, really hard on me, because um, yeah. I was like, well, I'm doing really good, like, my parents know I'm doing really good, but, like... At any point, like I, I could just give up. Mm -hmm. I could just like, you know, stop making good grades or. Yeah. You know, so, so let's build on that because college has been a dream of yours, mm -hmm. but it was never kind of the forced expectation. Yeah. Um, you know, it was my parents want me to have a better life. Yeah. You know, and I'm using air quotes there because I don't want to determine that college doesn't yeah. necessitate ne necessitate a better life, mm -hmm. but. Have you ever considered, my parents don't have this, I could just stop, or I could just drop out, or I could just quit? Um, and I, I think that's a question that I think a lot of like college students can answer, mm -hmm. um, just because like college is rough, it's yeah. hard. <laughs> and so I think at some point, everyone has wanted to quit. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yes, like that's sure. I there, there have been points where I'm just like, like is this even like, in my, in my mind, it's like, is this even worth it? Like, yeah. Um, just like all these like all nighters and then like having to do like having so much on your on my plate and yeah. that like I know other students have a lot on their plate. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think there have been points where it's like been, you know, I, I want to give up. Like, I, I don't want to keep doing this. Um, but like, I always remember like the sacrifices that my parents have made. Yeah. Um, like they're, they're amazing, hardworking people. Like they, they have provided so much for me, um, and, I, and I'm very fortunate of that. I know there there are other like students who like are first generation like Americans, yeah. Who their like their parents haven't really supported them um, in you know seeking a better life. Like they're mm -hmm. just okay with them, you know, yeah. Going into the workforce, and, and there's nothing wrong. With sure, going yeah, into we know what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, I think education is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so I know I know parents who. You know they're okay with their kids just going into like the workforce and like obviously like there's nothing wrong with that um but for me like i i want to strive for more mm -hmm. um, yeah and, like i hope i'm not like offending it no anymore. no you're good <laughs> yeah so uh just as we close uh, we'd like to ask all of our guests what is a pro tip that you have for freshmen coming in whether they're first generation or not um pro tip uh, this is gonna sound like so cliche uh but work work hard and work smart. Um, mm. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna like you're gonna hit bumps in the road. Yeah. There are gonna be times where like you're completely broke, and you probably have like five bucks in your bank account. <laughs> but, I mean, in the long run, like you'll it'll be okay. Um, there'll be times where like you'll think like the week is just horrible and it's just Monday already. Yeah. And so just kind of work through that um, and work smart through it. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Well, thank you, Hondro. Um, this has been really insightful um, mm -hmm. and really helpful. And I think we've both learned something. Absolutely. And I, I hope it's helpful for the freshmen. Uh, we thank you guys for listening. Um, and remember, if you have a question that you'd want to ask us, just head over to askanaggy.com. Uh, we'd love it if you'd rate us, uh, subscribe, do anything to engage with us because it helps us know how we're doing and if you enjoy this kind of content. Uh, so we'll catch you next time on the Ask an Aggie podcast.